Welcome back, everybody, to the Meeple Marathon and our continued coverage of Zombicide 2nd Edition. In this unboxing video, we are going to be taking a look at some of the campaign expansions for Zombicide, Washington, ZC, and Fort Hendricks. These are expansions that I believe you can, you know, essentially they're adding more content, but they're adding map tiles, they're adding heroes, um, um, I believe Washington ZZ is actually adding, no, it's Fort Hendricks that's adding zombies. Um, but what they're doing is adding in scenarios that follow a linear storyline and the ability to upgrade your characters slightly throughout. So something that Zombicide has never seen before. So let's take a look at what these expansions are offering. All right, so rules and missions. Um, Oh, my book kind of got torn up here. That's no good. Um, all right, so we have what appears to be a, without spoiling anything, 10 missions. Yeah, 10 mission campaign. So this isn't supposed to be super elongated campaign, but um, they are also adding in additional rules like the flashlight here, um, which you can see is getting plenty of coverage. Night rules, night and day rules, KO versus RIP. You can see here there's a time of day tracker, a clock essentially. Um, weapons that you can unlock, advanced rules, dark capital. So, um, Again, they're adding a few unique elements uh, and the ability to gain equipment and carry it throughout the campaign, but the biggest thing is a more campaign-based set of scenarios for Washington ZC. So let's take a look at what is inside here. A whole lot of cardboard that is all wrapped up. So let's get into this. What I think is really nice is that the expansions come with some additional map tiles, which are always good to mix things up, especially Zombicide is the type of game that you could easily just throw together your own scenario, um, you know, the way the AI is controlled. So you have these flashlight, you know, beams of light tokens here, and I'm assuming there'll be a way to put this together. This is your time of day tracker, and then a tank. Um, night rules, all ranged attacks, accuracy six, survivor line of sight, zero to one, zombie line of sight, range zero. So some additional rules on the back of that. And then it would appear to be one, two, three, four, yeah, six more room tiles, which is pretty nice for an expansion. So Washington ZC is meant to be kind of like you know, zombies are taking over the U.S. Capitol. Um, there is a president and um, executive figurine in here who are different colors. So they're not really like playable heroes. They're more like characters that you'll need to escort. But, you know, they are carrying guns. So they could probably fight back to some degree. <coughs> There's this symbology here on on some of the tiles that must mean something. <clears throat> you know, it basically has this like White House vibe to it. Very different from the just kind of city streets vibe of the base game. All right, so there's all the map tiles that are included. We have a whole bunch of sheets, campaign sheets to track uh, XP, skills, bonus actions, equipment, and achievements. I guess maybe each player gets one of these, survivor name and player name. Hmm. Doesn't seem like a lot if you are giving one per person. Uh, so this stuff here is obviously stuff that we are not going to take a look at. This is stuff that you will unlock throughout the campaign, which again, you know, just being able to unlock some more stuff is a nice touch with any game. Um, 
I really do appreciate these just kind of mini campaign types where you get to unlock new content for your game. So we're certainly not going to spoil anything in there. You have a set of dice that are trapped inside here. So you can see the insert looks pretty good. Um, these obviously are to put together the health tracker. You've got a section for your lights here. And then, I don't know what this is for, to be honest with you. Uh, but your cards here, your character cards, we'll take a look at those along with the miniatures here in a second. And then your dice are like trapped in here. So this, this whole lid must come off. And it is taped. Of course it's taped. Okay. So I don't really know how I feel about this lid. It's kind of tricky to get off here. But it's so deep. You essentially have to pull this whole thing out of the box. I'm not even sure whether this is meant to be kept. So there you see that these slots are designed to hold the cards. So I guess they are thinking that you are going to be storing everything in here. But here is uh, some dice. These are different from your standard D6s that you get with the game. <clears throat> and then we have some cards. The backs of the zombie spawn cards are unique. Oh no, these aren't zombies. These are, I guess, maybe equipment that you can carry throughout. Night goggles. Maybe used in the backpack, repair kit. Lots of repair kits. Riot shield gives you tough status. Snake cake. Okay. All right, so this is all equipment, uh, various levels of equipment, bag of rice, canned food, chainsaw, flashlight, katana. A lot of this looks very similar. Molotov cocktail, plenty of bullets. Yeah, we. I feel like we have seen all this stuff before, starting equipment. So there's actually no zombie activation cards. Now these are, these are cool, these look unique. I don't know if we've seen these before. Army sniper rifle. Um, Evil Twin, uh, we have seen that. The Golden AK-47, okay. So we have seen all these before. Gunblade, all right. So hopefully the campaign element is enough to put this game over the edge. Let's take a closer look at the miniatures now. Okay, so here are our uh, six hero miniatures. I am not 100% sure if these guys have to be used in the campaign or whether they're just offered as six available heroes in the campaign but there you can see that is Angelo and then we'll take a look at Anton here followed by Ashley Justin, Mindy, free all out melee action. Not 100% sure what that means, but I'm seeing the all out keywords a lot here. And Tess. If I didn't know any better, Tess would, is probably um, 
born of a uh, similar character from The Walking Dead, but I could be wrong. And then the last two characters we have here actually don't have a card. Um, and so, again, I'm not 100% sure if the weapons in their hands are simply for show or what, but that is the president on the right and his executive on the left. And you can see they are uh, different colors from the standard heroes, so they definitely stick out. Uh, but that, ladies and gentlemen, is everything in the Washington ZC campaign. Let's take a look at the other expansion. Okay, so here is Fort Hendricks. This is a very similar expansion to Washington ZC. It's meant to include some new map tiles, uh, the uh, campaign-driven kind of a connected storyline set of scenarios, along with some additional heroes. It's gonna have the same light tokens and day and nighttime tokens in case you did not back Washington ZC or don't purchase Washington ZC. These can kind of be, you know, they're very interchangeable. You could have one or the other. Um, you don't need both in order to play the campaign. But what this one offers on top of additional heroes is uh, additional new style of zombie. I believe they're all walkers, but I could be so let's take a look inside of Fort Hendrix. All right, so very similar looking rule book here. Um, again, this is Shooter Walker, okay? One companion similar to the president. But again, all of these rules are probably going to be very similar to what you read in Washington ZC here. And then eventually we are going to get to the point where we are going to start seeing some campaign companion penny. Yep. And here are the missions. So mission one, gathering the braves. And then I'm guessing we're going to get all the way out here to mission 10. Let's see if that's it. Yep. So again, another 10 mission campaign. Looks to be a very similar rule book. This looks like it's going to be very similar as well. So let's just take a look at the map tiles real quick. interesting is that this one is almost identical there's you know the light sources and the day and night tracker but there's no tank the Washington ZC one had a tank but Fort Hendrix does not have any sort of vehicle so other than that we have again six new map tiles here to show off again just hopefully in the future uh, I don't think there is any um, scenarios at the moment that kind of mix these up but I'm sure somebody very soon will be coming out with, uh, you know, homebrew style scenarios that make use of um, all of these various map tiles. So you can hear, you can see some of these rooms do look similar um, because this is a United States military fort. This is meant to be a military establishment versus the White House or the U.S. Capitol versus random city streets. So here is the last map tile that's included. And Black Hawk Down site is cool. That one definitely seems like a really cool one. Um, we have another set of uh, campaign sheets here. We already know what those do. We have our character cards, which we'll take a look at in a second. We have the same dice as before trapped inside there. <clears throat> it's interesting that they flip-flopped these two. On the previous box, these two openings were 
uh, flip-flopped. What I didn't show, but noticed as I put the other box back together, at first I thought, oh, there will be room for me to put the light tokens and the day and night tracker below, and then this lid will keep them in place. But that's actually not the case. They have cut out here, you can see in both the bottom portion of the tray and the lid so that the light tokens have to fit on top. Everything actually sits on top except for the dice and the miniatures. It's a very weird setup in my opinion. Um, so we'll have to see. I am thinking that we're probably gonna figure out a way to store the content from the two expansions, Washington ZC and Fort Hendrix into one of these uh, expansion boxes. So that way I only have to have shelf space for the core box, the reboot box, which is nothing but a ton of mingers, and then the two expansions in one box. But we'll see, we'll see how that works out. Let's, um, <clears throat> yeah, most of these seem like pretty standard cards here. You can see that these actually do come with um, zombie activation cards. I guess let's take a look and see what these cards here that show the unique Fort Hendricks background on them look like. So maybe these are different from the rest. Other than that, it's probably a whole bunch of katanas and knife guns and so on and so forth. So, All right, so here we have the various trap ones, incendiary grenade, uh, Colt rifle, flashlight, always good HK you know so definitely some heavier machinery here in Fort Hendrix which makes sense MRE gain 3 AP okay military rations Mooseburg night vision goggles we've seen plenty of bullets plenty of shells we've seen repair kit we've seen uh, Sig Sauer P320 that's like a Sergeant's handgun, tactical halligan, and tactical tomahawk. Well, that's cool. All right, so that's some of the unique uh, item weapons that you can find. Otherwise, I believe most of these are pretty standard. So let's now take a look at um, the miniatures in this version. All right, so first up here we have Carl. He has the sniper action which looks cool then we have Marion who appears to be the base medic And Michelle, who appears to be the base mechanic. And Riley, who looks like uh, maybe a communications officer specialist we have Wayne I can't really get a feel for Wayne as to what he might be Javier, he's the one who looks like you don't mess with this guy. He is not fooling around. He has probably seen some things that you don't want to know about. And then we also have Penny the biologist here, who again does not have a card. She's 
like a NPC almost something like that somebody I'm sure that you'll have to escort through various scenarios and then we have us some walkers with guns so um, there I did not see any specific rules um, but I'm sure there are some tucked away in that rule book of um, how you are supposed to handle walkers that have ammunition so there's just these two sculpts here that you can see um, for the two walkers with guns but there are six of those in the box and that does it for the Fort Hendrix expansion but we are not done yet we have two more small boxes to open so let's take a look at those all right next up we have the presidential box this almost feels like uh, you know the special guest boxes in previous zombicide seasons but this was part of the you had to back the presidential uh, pledge level to get this uh, stretch goal box so these are stretch goals that were only available if you backed the base game plus the Washington ZC uh, expansion so these presidents can be used not only to play with in a normal scenario you can see they have all the the upgrade abilities but they can also be used in the Washington ZC campaign in place of the generic president that came in that campaign uh, the only really big difference between these guys and any other character is you can see this big red button here um, the red button skill essentially it says um, once per game before or after resolving an action a POTUS can press their red button flip the ID card to the backside then resolve a Molotov cocktail effect in a single zone within line of sight of the POTUS so uh, essentially they can nuke an entire site and then you flip them over everything is the same except for the button has now been pressed so if you happen to use these guys as a replacement president in the Washington ZC campaign they can actually activate they only ever get the blue action that's as high as they can go you cannot upgrade them to be this ridiculous uh, companion so if you want a little bit of an edge in that campaign make things a little bit easier then throw in one of these presidents um, for the most part these presidents are all very recent presidents except for Abe here president 16 I honestly don't know why they threw in Abe and then skipped over like Teddy Roosevelt FDR would have been a great you know just unique character to have but they threw in Abe which makes perfect sense because you know he's the vampire hunter so why not make him a vampire or a zombie hunter now but then they threw in a whole bunch of the current presidents who aren't nearly as exciting historically in my opinion but that's fine that's okay but I'm sure I'll be playing with Abe Lincoln at some point so here is Abe as I've been talking this whole time next up we have Ronald Reagan get his miniature to come out here Oops. then going in order here we have Bill Clinton, President 42, and then we have number 43, we don't have 41, um, but we have the 43 George Bush. very cool and collected Obama president 44 and then there's this guy other than painting him a bright orange don't know if we'll be using him for much. 
And last but not least, we have the single miniature Gabriel here. Gabriel, uh, I honestly don't even remember how we earned Gabriel as part of the Kickstarter, but he comes in this single blister pack box. Honestly, I'm not a fan of the single blister pack boxes like this because at the end of the day, they're a pain in the butt to figure out how to store because you don't want to make room on your shelf for this whole little tiny box. But everything else has these nice... Um, you know, vacuum sealed trays to protect the miniatures. So what do you do with these single one-off guys? Um, but again, Gabriel is the last bit of content we have to show you here today. So there he is in all his glory. He is supposedly an ex anti-drug police officer. Um, other than that, I don't know much else about him. So that is all of the content uh, that I have backed. Uh, as part of the Zombicide second edition campaign, there is the uh, RPG 5e book, along with a, additional some additional sets of miniatures that I did not back. So if you want to take a look at those, I can certainly recommend some channels uh, if you want to reach out to me through the comment section. But other than that, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, including some gameplay content of Zombicide second edition, please consider subscribing to the channel because more is coming. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.